Therefore Solomon, the son of David, was comforted in his realm, and the Lord was with him, and magnified him on high. And Solomon commanded to all Israel, to tribunes, and centurions, and to dukes, and to doomsmen of all Israel, and to the princes of Minas. Solomon went with all the multitude into the high place of Gibeon, where the tabernacle of bond of peace of the Lord was, which tabernacle Moses, the servant of the Lord, made in wilderness. For Suth, David brought the ark of God from kirath Jerium into the place which he had made ready to it, and where he had set a tabernacle to it, that is, in Jerusalem, and the brazen altar, which Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, had made, was there before the tabernacle of the Lord, which also Solomon and all the church sought. And Solomon went up to the brazen altar before the tabernacle of the bond of peace of the Lord, and offered it in a thousand offered in it a thousand sacrifices. Lo, forsooth in that night God appeared to him, and said, Ask that that thou wilt that I give to thee. And Solomon said to God, Thou hast done great mercy with David my father, and hast ordained me king for him. Now therefore, Lord God, thy word be fulfilled, which thou promisest to David my father. For thou hast made me king upon thy great people, which is so unnumerable as the dust of earth. Give thou to me wisdom and understanding, that I go in and out and go out before thy people. For who may deem worthy this thy people, which is so great? And God said to Solomon, For that this thing pleased more thine heart, and thou askest not riches and chattel and glory, neither the lives of them that hate thee, but neither full many days of thy life. But thou hast asked for wisdom and knowing, that thou mayest deem my people, upon which I have ordained thee king. Wisdom and knowing be given to thee, and over this I shall give to thee riches and chattel and glory, so that none among kings, neither before thee nor after thee, be like thee. Then Solomon came from the high place of Gibeon into Jerusalem, before the tabernacle of the bond of peace, and he reigned upon Israel. And Solomon gathered together to him chariots of knights, and a thousand and four hundred chariots were made to him, and twelve thousand knights, and he made them to be in the cities of carts, and with the king in Jerusalem. And the king gave in Jerusalem gold and silver as stones in plenty, and he gave cedar trees as sycamores that come forth in field places in great multitude. And horses were brought to him from Egypt and from Koa by the merchants of the king, which went and brought by price a chariot of horses for six hundred prices of pieces of silver, and a an horse for an hundred and fifty. In like manner, buying was made for all the buying was made of all the realms of the cities, and of all the kings of Syria.